is PP405 a miracle hair loss medication? There's a lot of buzz throughout social media and throughout the news. And the reality is we have not had a single new FDA approved hair loss medication in over 30 years. So PP405 might just be the next one. Uh, you are already applying minoxidil, taking finasteride for your hair loss. It is working, but not to the extent you liked it. And then you see yourself in the mirror and somehow you don't like the result of the medical treatment which you have been taking for a very very long time and then you see a video a piece of information anywhere on social media that now on the horizon there is a wonder drug by the name of pp405 a team at ucla discovered a compound called pp405 that doesn't just preserve hair it reactivates dormant follicles by targeting their metabolic switch with not only stops the ongoing hair loss but also regrows the hair which have already fallen off and it's creating a lot of buzz on the social media but you don't know and you're not sure what the actual facts are what is the stage of development of this pp405 whether it is already approved what is the method of its application what are the side effects when is this expected to be launched in the market and what's going to be the potential price of this particular compound in this video we are going to discuss about this new so-called wonder drug about the hair loss problem which is being developed by UCLA in US and already considered by many to be a game changer in the hair loss industry. So please keep watching this video till the end. My name is Dr. Satya Saraswar. I am an ABHRS American Board of Hair Restriction Surgery Diplomat and also active in the field of hair loss and hair transplant since 2006. I have also trained around 90 doctors in the field of hair transplant who are very, very successful in their practice. Many patients we get in our clinical practice have already taken a lot of treatment from other places and nothing has worked. And they say that those doctors then referred these patients to us for advanced treatments if there are any. And we are also constantly improving our knowledge by keeping a, an eye on all these researches which are happening in the field of hair loss. If you want to watch such useful videos and informative videos about the hair loss and hair transplant, please do subscribe to this channel where only the science matters and whatever we say and tell you is absolutely ethical and research backed. So what actually is PP405? It is a compound which is said to act on W anti beta catenin pathway which is found in the cells of the hairs. So what it does it, it improves the signaling. It targets the PGD2 pathway. This particular pathway causes the hairs to move from the growing phase also known as the anagen phase towards the resting phase and the transition phase. So when this particular compound PP405 attacks this pathway, PGD2 pathway. It prevents the conversion from the growing to the skipping phase. So keeps the hair for a longer time in the growing phase or the anagen phase itself. It basically blocks a receptor known as GPR44 receptor, which stops PGD2 from binding to the hair follicle and preventing its further miniaturization. There have been two phases and in early phases phase one it was found to be very very effective in mice so it it was shown that it could regrow a lot of hairs in the ball area in mice and in the phase 2a which was very recently concluded and i think 27th of june 2025 this report was published by the researchers the company's name is pillage pillage pharmaceuticals and they published this research on their website which shows that even in the phase 2a in which there was 78 male and female patients suffering from hair loss they were divided into two parts one of the set of patient was taking pp405 and other set was using a simple gel which looked like pp405 and topically this is a medicine which is applied locally topically in a gel form and half of them were using the actual molecule and half of them were using a gel which looked like this it was a vehicle gel for pp405 and this application was done for a period of Four weeks, one month. The dose at which this gel was applied, PP405 was applied in 
0.5 percentage dose on the scalp of males and females both. Application duration was 4 weeks. They were then followed up for another 12 weeks. What was found was that there was statistically significant growth of the hairs in those set of patients who are applying PP405. And very very important thing which was found out was that there was absolutely no or absolutely minimal absorption of this molecule into the blood circulation. That means no side effect. So, the early results of PP405 are indeed very very promising but now what the current status is that this needs further research. As we all know there are three phases of development and FDA approval for any medicine. So, further results are awaited. Please drop a like if you are liking the video till now. Now let us compare PP405 with the existing medical treatments like minoxidil, finasteride, PRP which are already in the market and all of you I am sure you know about about this. PP405, as we have seen, the early trial, human trials are showing very promising results and the pathway through which it is acting is totally different from minoxidil and finasteride and even the PRP. But this excitement it is causing right now may not be exactly the scientific evidence, although the early scientific evidence are very, very promising. Now, just in a tabulated form, how it differs from the other medicines. Minoxidil basically, if you compare it it improves the blood flow, it is a vasodilator, it relaxes the smooth muscles of the blood vessel as we have seen in one of our video previously which we made about minoxidil and effectivity or effectiveness of minoxidil is mild to moderate. Not everybody is going to be benefited by minoxidil, it is FDA approved. Other medicine is finasteride which blocks the conversion of testosterone to 5-DHT, it's a DHT blocker. It's also quite effective, uh, the efficacy of finasteride is moderate to high and this again is US FDA approved for the hair loss treatment. Then coming to PRP, it releases a lot of growth factor as we know the platelets in the PRP, platelet rich plasma. Platelets are the storage house storehouses for a lot of growth factors which act on the hair roots or the hair follicle. Its effectiveness is not as high as minoxidil and finasteride and it has to be judged on case to case basis. It is not FDA approved for hair loss but it is quite effective. Whereas PP405, it's a stem cell activator, acts on the WNT beta pathway as we have seen and decreases the activity of GDP2 compound. Its efficacy in long term trials and huge number of subset of patients is still not known and obviously it is not FDA approved. If you have used any products, please drop in the comment section to let us know. Let us have an evidence from all of you to know whether it has worked for you or not or what you desired from that medical treatment and did it work for you or not and what would be an ideal drug for you in case of a hair loss. Now coming to a myth here that once you get PP405, it's going to be a permanent treatment and there will be no need of hair transplant later on. Currently, it seems that this may not be true because the clinical trial in phase 2a which was done on human beings, males and females was done for a period of 12 weeks only and it's a very short time and uh, those patients who were taking PP405, they had shown good results which was statistically significant but still it was not seen in all of them. It's not like that every patient was benefited but it is definitely an improvement. What I foresee is this is going to be effective till you keep on applying this. We do not know the cost structure and since it's a highly researched molecule we believe that initially for some time this is going to be very very costly till the time other place other companies start manufacturing it. So the early cost would be very costly so it may or may not be very you know pocket friendly for an average consumer or a customer of, uh, who is looking out for hair loss treatment. Launch may, it is said that launch may take another two to three years easily which means it may be further extended that means 2027 or 28 is what we are looking for the launch of this pp 4 Till then what you can do, you can stick to the FDA approved treatments, you can change your lifestyle to a healthy lifestyle, keep focus on your lifestyle and nutrition and try to be as stress free as possible and 
to get the best possible results out of your treatment, whether it's a medical hair loss treatment or a hair transplant, please consult a specialist doctor. If you want to contact us, our numbers are shown on the screen if you're planning a hair transplant or a hair loss treatment. Try to reach out to us so that we can arrange a consultation with you about your problem. If you think that this video has increased your knowledge about the new compound which may come in a couple of years, then please share this with anybody who is on the same boat as you are so that they are also benefited by the explanation given here in this video in an easy way so that everybody can understand about PP405. If you want to know minoxidil works or not, please click the video on the left hand side and to know hair growth treatment and what works faster, please click the video on the right hand side. Thank you.